accessories you will find inside the box is fixed bandage, car charger, USB connector, back camera with modified pressure line, instruction manual, product and a high speed micro SD card. Next let's take a look at the rear view mirror. Starting from here is the power key, then we have the menu key, mode switch, navigation keys and confirm. This area is where the screen will appear once the device is powered on. Facing this way we have DC in, the micro SD card slot, AV in and USB slot. On the very back we have the reset button, the built in mic and over here is the front facing camera. To set the device up in the car, the first thing you will need is the two bands that come in the box. You have to attach them first to either the bottom or the top of the hooks on the top of the rear view mirror. Then once both are on like this, you want to place it over your previous mirror in your car. Then you stretch the bands to come over and meet the other side and clip them in. Since the camera is on the other side, you don't want to block it when fitting it on. Then lastly, using the double sided sticker that also came in the box, you can stick it to the back camera and have it facing through the back window of the car. Since the back camera is waterproof, you can also attach it to the boot like this, which is optional. The device works without the back camera plugged in, so it's optional if you just want to record from the front at any other time. Once you want to use the back camera, have it fitted around the top of the car to not get in the way and plug it in the AV slot on the mirror. After everything is set up, let's power up and go through basic navigations. It takes a couple of seconds to power up and once it is on, it will record automatically. Pressing this will bring you to the menu screen where you can see a list of various settings. Pressing these keys is how you can navigate through and this is where you can stop the video recording straight away. Going back out now, pressing this key is to switch from video to image mode and also to go back and view previous recordings by pressing OK. But instead, if you want to delete the video, pressing the menu button again, but while the video is previewed like this, will bring up the option to delete. Taking a look at the sample videos, the front facing camera is slightly higher quality than the one on the back. It is more wide angle and shaped in a way to fit more into shots and less pixelated. You also have the options to adjust the angle of the camera to go sideways. The built-in microphone is a bit on the quiet side, but keep in mind that the main purpose of this product is video capture. When the battery is fully charged, it can record up to 30 minutes without the in-charger plugged in. To extend the lifespan, there is options to switch the camera off, which is also good if you find the screen distracting or obstructing your view. The final verdict, starting with the cons, is the buttons can be a bit clunky to press at first and slightly tricky to work out how to navigate for anyone that might not be as familiar with this sort of tech before. With both cameras attached and recording without using the power supply, the battery length is not that long to make good use of the parking control features. The positive points is the wide angle lens on the front does a great job at fitting in a good view of what is going on in the front. The screen on the right evenly splits what can be seen from the back and front and is able to keep the frame rate for both recordings steady. This is a good product for the price, it is available in the UK with one year warranty.